you do not need to pay for a park ticket to have an amazing day in Disney World. Yes, really. Let's have the perfect day at the Disney Skyliner Resort. Here we go. Okay, I'm fully awake. So, let's get crying. Hi. Mm. Hi. Mm. Do you want to go get the petit cafe? I'm up. <laughs> The Disney World Skyliner Resorts are four hotels, Art of Animation, Pop Century, Riviera Resort, and Caribbean Beach Resort located along the Skyliner. We're currently staying at Riviera Resort, but you do not need to be staying at these hotels to have the perfect day here. We'll be doing some resort guest activities and some that anyone can do as well. So if you've never heard of it, the Skyliner is a gondola system that makes getting between the hotels super easy, and you can even get to Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and the Epcot Resort area if you go by the Skyliner. Okay, so we went and got our petite cafe. Um, if you don't know, Quincy is actually with us us right now she's getting ready but she is doing a full resort tour right now so go check that out on the channel we just talked about the coffee we got over in that video and now we're gonna talk about the pastries we got pastry wise though fry got some banana bread Quincy got a blueberry muffin and I got the cinnamon roll you just took your first bite of your banana bread what are your thoughts that is amazing is it really it is so moist and it's got that chocolate in it. Um, I've only had one bite, so to be determined if there's nuts in it. Um, but there's a little bit of dusting and powdered sugar on top. And that that was a wonderful first bite. Well, there you go. I'm about to eat this whole thing. <laughs> All right, here's my first bite of my cinnamon roll. So that's actually really nice. We are huge fans of Gaston cinnamon roll over in Magic Kingdom. This I would actually say is a fairly close second to that. It's not as like flaky or fresh as the Gaston's, but it's really tasty, very, very sweet. The icing is pretty thick, which I actually really like. And there's almost like a, looks like a little bit of honey taste, like just a tiny bit of honey across the top. Very nice. I will say, because we have a microwave, I'm gonna utilize it and pop that in the microwave for a few seconds and just make it warm and gooey. But honestly, on its own without doing that, it's still really nice. Every resort does have recreation offerings and they're all different. A lot of times resorts will have movies under the stars, which tonight is Cinderella. There's a campfire with s'mores, there's pool time activities, you've got trivia. There's also something called the Skyliner Rally Scavenger Hunt, which we're probably gonna have to check out. And then specifically to the Riviera Resort, there is a little hidden Pascal somewhere in the lobby. And then if you take a photo with him, you can bring it over to the recreation room and you get a nice little button. And outside there is quite a bit of different lawn games that you can play. There's cornhole, there's connect four, there's chess, there's bocce ball. There's a lot of fun things to do here on the lawn at the Riviera. So let's play some games. Emma wants to play chess. Good. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Emma doesn't know how to play no. and then wins. No, I really truly don't and I'm about to embarrass myself. So what if we played a different game? Because there's a lot. That's fine. We'll check them all out. Here is a look at the recreation board. Usually every single recreation board is close to the pool at whatever resort gonna show all the movies playing, you've got the campfire, movie under the stars, and painting on the Riviera. That is a extra cost paid for class, but that would be really fun, but you can usually find your recreation board next to the pool, but if you can't find it, just ask a cast member. Also, I just wanna show how popular all these games are right now. There's families playing bocce ball, there's families doing cornhole and playing Connect Four. So this is actually really fun for everybody to just be out here, sitting, relaxing. The sun isn't out right now, it feels really nice, but the wind is picking up because a storm's a-brewing. Okay, we're gonna play Connect Four really fast. 
because it's open. Uh, classic strategy down the middle. So now that we have played some games, we've decided it's time to start hanging out, kind of running around the Skyliner Resorts. Um, so we walked up to the Skyliner. That's one of the best parts about the Riviera is the direct access to the Skyliner. Now, if you aren't staying on property, you can still access these things. So a lot of times you can go to Hollywood Studios and park there and hop on the Skyliner from there. Or if you have a dining reservation, you can park at the resorts. However, you are not allowed to do that all day long. So definitely don't necessarily plan on leaving your car at a resort all day. All right, we are on our Skyliner. We're gonna stop by Art of Animation first, which I kind of hold a special place in my heart for Art of Animation now. Uh, if you wanna learn more about that resort, go check out that full tour up on the channel now and you can see how we compare three of the different um, family suites that are over there. Now, one thing I will say about all of the hotels and resorts we're going to today is just like the bocce ball and the connect four they have activities um that almost anyone can do the only thing that normally non-resort guests can't do is like the pool and stuff but there are going to be free activities just like the bocce ball so if you're over here feel free even if you're not staying at riviera to take part in those but just remember other guests also want to take part so don't take up too much time be respectful and depending on where you're trying to go, you might have to transfer. For example, we were on the line that was just Riviera and Epcot, so we have to get off to get on a different line to go farther down the road to Pop Century and Art of Animation. Here, this is the Skyliner Hub, which is over at Caribbean Beach Resort, and there's three different lines that you could take. One is for Epcot and Riviera, the one in the middle is for Hollywood Studios, and then this one over here is for Art of Animation and Pop Century. So it's not one big long line where you could just hop on a Skyliner and ride the whole way, you will have to transfer at some point. Also, something to note is they use both sides. So if one line is longer than the other, hop in the shorter one. All right, and stepping off of the Skyliner, we have now made it to Art of Animation Resort. The Skyliner station is directly in the middle, so you just take a little walk and you've made it to another resort. Here we are. There's several things to do here, but what we think is the most fun when you're hanging out and you're not a guest here is the photo spots. Oh, absolutely. There are so many fun characters here in each different section. There is a Finding Nemo section, a Cars section, a Lion King section, and a Little Mermaid section. So even if you're not staying here, and your kids, this is one of their favorite movies and they love these characters, just hop on the Skyliner, come over here, walk around, take some pictures, look at the fun larger than life characters and just hang out. And I think that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. And maybe we grab a snack or maybe a drink or something while we hang out too. That sounds wonderful. All right, so we've decided we're going to attempt to recreate some of the statues. So here we have Rafiki in the Lion King section. And then also here we have Rafiki in the Lion King section. Also, Art of Animation plays crazy good music. Specifically, the Lion King section has the best music. True. Oh my god, where's Emma? <laughs> So another thing that we both love to do when we are resort hopping is to check out the stores because every single store on Disney property has a little something different. Now a lot of them have the same stuff, but they might have some stuff unique to that resort too. So I feel like we need to hop in and, you know, just check it out. Well, I mean, what's the harm? 
So this shop here at Art of Animation is Ink and Paint Shop. They have an entire ink and paint collection actually. Lots of really cute stuff for Art of Animation. Every single time I'm here I look at this service. It's really cute. It's so cute. It's different sketches and different artworks. Of course, Art of Animation. They even have specialty ears here. And they change color. So lots of fun stuff. Art of Animation even has its own spirit jersey. If you had to buy any of this, what was what would be the one thing you buy? It was a thing for my family growing up. Every time we stayed at a different resort, we each mm -hmm. got a pin. So like, oh, I you get a pin from each place that I've stayed. That's so. cute. I would do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I really like that. If I had to pick out of anything right now, I'd probably get the Turvis. It's very cute. And while we are here, we are going to make a stop at the drop-off pool bar, which is the pool bar here at Art of Animation. Honestly, it's one of our favorites. We think it has great options to lounge by the pool, just have a refreshing drink, take some time to take a break. So this is going to be another one of our activities for here at Art of Animation. All right, so here are our first drinks of the day. I started with the Summer Heat. It's Tito's Handmade Vodka, cold-pressed watermelon juice, sour mix, lime juice, fresh muddled jalapeno with Sprite and a chili lime rim. And honestly, this sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> it really does. It looks good too. So I got the Bay Breeze, which is vodka, pineapple juice, and cranberry juice. Keeping it simple, but I love a good simple drink. Cheers! Ooh. Mine is really nice. Of course, in Emma fashion, incredibly sweet. The watermelon reminds me a little bit of like an artificial watermelon, like a Jolly Rancher kind of flavor. Not necessarily fresh watermelon, but the strongest flavor is a jalapeno flavor, but it's not spicy. It's really interesting. I thought it'd be a little bit hotter, but it's nice. It's really refreshing, and that's what you need on a hot day. So, oh. quite pleased, really good. This is a great pool drink. It's simple. It's just pineapple, cranberry, and some vodka, which is wonderful. Strongest flavor is pineapple. I could easily sit by the pool and drink this all day. Absolutely. Cheers to that. Alrighty, so now we have our drinks. We've taken our photos. I think it's time to walk across the, the little pathway. Yeah. Check out Pop Century. I'm down. I'm excited. All right, we made it over to Pop Century. This is a really fun resort. You can stay in the different decades through different parts of the resort, and they even have some of the big character statues just like Art of Animation. So it's a lot of fun for kiddos too to see their favorite characters. And there's really one super famous thing that I think we have to do over here. Yes. There's also a whole dedicated cast member recreation team at all of the resorts and they do have fun games. The other day I was at Animal Kingdom Lodge and they were playing freeze dance and have hula hoops and stuff. So if you're having a resort day, having a pool day, be sure and check it out. Time to step into the gift shop at Pop Century to see what we can find. Oh, it feels so nice and cool in here. Oh, Pop Century has Halloween merchandise. Today. All right, so we're picking out our favorite Halloween merch. Emma, go. I already know it's this oh, t-shirt. She already knows. I love the acid wash t-shirts that uh, they've done. Those are There's fun. There's one more, I don't see it here, but they had it at Riviera. Mm. They're so cute. I have to be honest right now. You don't like it? I don't love the color scheme of this whole collection. I don't disagree that I don't like the blues and the purples necessarily. Yeah. That's why I think I like the acid wash because it's not as overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But I I'll sadly understand. Yeah. I'll, understand. I'll find something. I'll find something. Okay, you know what? I like that I hat. I really like the hat. The it's hat simple. I like it. That's my pick. And look, it's a little ghost what he's got on Mickey ears. I like the hat. That's a good choice. Or can't go wrong with a soft Disney blanket. I have too many and it's not enough. That's fair. And for our other activity here at Pop Century Resort, we are going to get what I would call an iconic Pop Century yeah. snack. This is the number one thing that I think of when I think of Pop Century. So I think it fits. Yeah. Let's get it. All right, and over here in the little bakery case, we've got the tie-dye cheesecake. There it is, $5, da -da -da -da. 79 cents. It looks like Play-Doh, it's delish. I'm excited Let's to try, try it. it. All right, we are very quickly going to sit inside and enjoy our cheesecake. Now it might look super colorful, but it is just plain cheesecake. You ready? Yeah. All right, quick review, go. Creamy, cheesy, mm -hmm. vanilla-y. Not overly special, but very tasty and very iconic for Pop Century. Could use some like strawberries or some fruit on top. Mm. 
I will say I'm not a huge fan of cheesecake in general. I don't think I could eat this whole thing by myself, but I can have a few bites and I enjoy it. It's not an overwhelmingly cream cheese flavor, which is what I don't like. So even if you're a little hesitant about cheesecake, this is good. I enjoyed it. All right. We ate our cheesecake. Yes, it was actually, I really enjoyed it. It's simple, mm -hmm. not the best you're gonna have, but a nice pop century snack. Yes, but you know what? <laughs> hungry. I don't think it was enough. No, I'm, I'm actually, I'm pretty hungry. But it is, it is lunchtime. It is lunchtime. I know somewhere we could go. Oh, you do? I do. Is it on the Skyliner? It's on the Skyliner, but we have to get back on the Skyliner to travel there. Okay. So we have to leave Art and Pop. I'm down. If you want to learn more specifically about either one of these resorts, we do have a full playlist of every resort tour on property. And plus, if you really want to know more about Art of Animation, we just recently stayed there within the past few weeks and we compared all three family suites in one week. So be sure and check out that video for more. I will say the character wraps on the outside of the Skyliner gondolas are super fun, but if you're sitting in one that is wrapped, you cannot see um, the outside. So we're in one that's not wrapped right now and it's a beautiful view going over the lake. We can see Pop Century on one side, Art of Animation on the other. So that's a plus. If you get a Skyliner that isn't wrapped, you'll actually be able to see the outside. And of course, we would need to get off the Skyliner anyways to transfer, but we're not getting on another Skyliner. We're actually going to walk to our next destination, which is gonna be across the lake a little bit if you have any idea about where we're going. We are gonna shout out this drop race that's right here at the Skyliner station. Of course, in the morning when everybody is trying to rope drop and get to their park, it will have kind of a bit of a line, but like right now, we could easily grab a coffee. And it's nothing compared to the Starbucks lines you'll encounter in the parks. Very true. So it'll save time if you come here rather than in the parks in the morning. Yes. Plus then, you're drinking your coffee on, your, on the Skyliner, and then you don't have to stop in the park. You can head straight to Rise of the Resistance, saving you time. Caribbean Beach Resort is a very big resort, very spread out, but there is actually an island that connects the middle, both sides, and we are gonna spend some time exploring because there are some fun things to do here on the island. It's open all day, so you can come and hang out at your leisure, and we're gonna go see what there is to do. This already, I'm getting Tom Sawyer vibes. Yeah, this is a good Tom Sawyer. And it's pretty shaded. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Oh. Hello, welcome to my restaurant. What would you like to eat? Do you have burgers? I got whatever you want. I'd like a double cheeseburger. Um, I, only single, and I only have single patty. I would like a single patty with an additional single patty on top, animal style, smothered. Very high maintenance, but okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, I thought these were chips. <laughs> no, they're not chips. I was gonna. Oh. You go, that'll be $45. 45 Gosh, I forgot I was in Disney World. <laughs> Thank you, though. That's very nice. Please give me a good review. <laughs> There's also this beautiful seating area over here, um, which is where we're assuming this is where they do their movies, because just look at that view. They still have the chairs set up. And then I think we found what we both have been looking for, which is a pseudo swing. They even have a hammock section with the beach over here. Oh, that's nice stuff. Do I need to give you some time? Go have lunch without me. Lunch without you? You're hungry. I am hungry. Could you bring it back? Do you want me to set a timer? Yeah. Then we'll go to lunch. Okay, okay good night. So our timer went off, so we're exploring a little bit more of the island, and they even have what is basically like a mini private little cabana. Little cabana, little front porch vibes. Little front you know. porch vibes. There's several through here. Um, you have nice views of the entire resort and even some of the water. I mean, this is just nice stuff. Can we set a timer over here too? Oh, there's even a gazebo. Okay, this is where I want to sit for a minute. Okay. Look how pretty the view is over here. We've taken our time on the island. We've really, honestly, relaxed. Yeah. It's been so nice. It is open from sunrise to sunset, so it's not necessarily set hours every single day. Sky's awake, I'm awake. So we must play. So we have to play. But you don't have to do that. Now though, maybe a little lunch while we're over here. So we haven't really touched on this just yet, but every single one of these Skyliner uh, resorts have amazing pools. And if you are staying at one of the resorts, 
They are so much fun and we highly recommend taking part and like participating in all of the pool activities, checking it out. This is one of them here. We are definitely gonna be hanging out at Riviera's in just a second. And I can't wait. The thought of a cold pool right I, now. I, yeah, I need it. Sounds incredible, but let's do a little lunch. I will say that this pool at Caribbean Beach specifically looks really fun to me. If I stay here one day, I will definitely be having a pool day because there's slides, there's a pretty big pool. There's a whole pirate ship over here, which I definitely would check out. Lots of fun games and activities. They're playing music. They're playing the Jonas Brothers right now. So overall, this looks like a really great pool. Lots of fun. The pirate ship, it looks like that's a little kitty area, which I'm super jealous of. I did it. I'm so sorry. This has nothing to do with our video. I went all of July without a Coke, and if you've been here for a while, that was a challenge for me. And it's August 1st, and I get a Coke today. I can't wait for lunch. I will buy you a Coke. Thank you so much. Yes. This has been huge. You guys have followed me through this baby journey of mine. Yes. Thank you for standing with me. It doesn't have anything to do with this video, but it means something to me. We just realized it in, in the lobby, right now. and we all just went. <gasps> Both of us froze in our tracks. I'm not kidding, for probably 60 seconds. All right, time to do a little shopping at the Calypso Trading Post here in Caribbean Beach. Um, I'm not seeing any Halloween merch here right off the bat. No, this is one of the smaller stores out of all of the uh, Skyliner stops. Mm -hmm. But they normally have some pretty cute Caribbean Beach stuff. Oh, also let's like go. F oh, here it is. Have you seen these? Those are new? really cute ears. This is what I would get right here. I love a good ornament. Ornament of the resort. Another thing that my family collects because my mom loves Christmas trees. We have one in every room of the house. So upstairs is the Disney room and it's a Disney tree and all the ornaments on it are Disney. Oh, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. All of the resort gift shops are going to have a little bit to choose from. They're not going to be the biggest collection, but if you need a little souvenir, you can grab one. Maybe a key <gasps> chin. Oh my goodness, that's what I'm getting. Powerline Max and Goofy. This would be what I'd buy today. This is the first time I've seen, seen this in person. That's so fun. Definitely, that's what I'd get. I love that. And for our light lunch slash appetizer before dinner, we are gonna hit up Banana Cabana, which is the pool bar here at Caribbean Beach Resort, but it's a pretty big pool bar, and I do know for a fact that they do share a kitchen with Sebastian's Bistro, so it's got really good food, so we're probably gonna get just a little something to put in our stomachs before we go lay by the pool at the Riviera. And then maybe, an earlier dinner mm. because we also have plans. Yes, we there, do. There's always a plan here. Always. I mean, it's it's the Skyliner. We got lots of plans. All right, so we do know that we are planning on eating an earlier dinner tonight, so we just decided to share an appetizer for our lunch. So we ended up going with the loaded fries. It has cojita and fresh pico de gallo with a Caribbean style chili on it. And frankly, when they sat this down on the table, the first thing I did was look at Fry and tell her what a good decision she made because these look incredible. And then I also decided to grab a little drink. This is a non-alcoholic option. This is the Tropical Storm, which is frozen colada with pineapple, coconut, and mango. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna mix it. Hold on. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Now we try again. Ooh, that's really good. This is another really great sit by the pool, drink all day in the sun kind of drink. It is a frozen slushy consistency. I'm not really tasting the pineapple as much it's more coconut and mango but it is very good and I get the pleasure of trying the fries okay when we first ordered them I kind of thought they'll just be normal loaded fries nothing super special but they'll be tasty you know you can't really mess up a loaded fry that much this is actually really really good in my opinion it's a great and hefty I love a good heavy poolside snack mm -hmm. sometimes you want something cold and light and I do go through those phases but sometimes when you're laying by a pool nothing will hit better than just some good french fries and a coke like by the pool it's just incredible these are really nice uh the chili is slightly sweet the cojita is really creamy and the pico isn't super fresh necessarily but it adds kind of a nice freshness and crisp to it the french fries are just normal disney world french fries but i love a good normal disney world french fry i think this is a great appetizer a really nice shareable plate is it going to be the best thing you could order here Probably not, but it's simple perfection, and that's what I really like about it. Finished our fries. Finished our fries. I know. Ooh. Fries. That's fries. cute. I am slightly full, but I'm glad we did. We shared because I'm very excited for dinner. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to enjoy it. So that yes. was a nice little shared kind of lunch 
little bit of a late lunch it's moment. Good. We'll walk around a yeah. little bit. Walk burn, it off. Burn some calories. We're close enough now to the Riviera that we can just walk back rather than taking the Skyliner. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't we do that? And this is really funny because we were just sitting at the table talking about it, how we didn't see or pass by the little recreation games at Caribbean Beach, but that is because they are over here by the marina where there's actually guided fishing excursions that you can take here at Caribbean Beach Resort. They do of course cost money, um, kind of expensive, but you know, five guests split five ways wouldn't be that bad. So that could be really fun, little catch and release moment. I think I would love that. Are you a fisher? I am a fisher. A fisher woman? A fisher woman. I'm not much of a fisher woman. Uh, my family has tried and mm -hmm. it hasn't worked out. Yeah. But they'll keep trying. That's okay. Yeah. I liked playing with the worms in the dirt. Oh. That adds up so much. That makes so much sense in my brain. That's what I enjoyed. For a while, like I would catch the fish and I like to catch the fish, but I didn't want to take them off the hook because I didn't want to touch the fish. Yeah. But now I can do it all day. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So over here at the little dock with the lighthouse is where you are going to find all the recreation games. <gasps> there's Jenga. Oh, that's so fun. There's two things of cornhole. <gasps> there's putt putt. Okay, I have to play there's chess. There's Jenga. There's Connect Four. There's so much more here. What? There's so much over here. Oh. My husband would be really disappointed in that. That's okay. Okay, so as we're walking back, we did find a volleyball with the net. So we have to play, just a little. Just a little bit, we're gonna put our stuff down. This is very similar um, to the games. And honestly, it's even similar to the hammocks when we were hanging out earlier. This is all free to guests who are just kind of hanging out, even if you're not staying at the resorts. But again, just kind of be kind, be courteous. If somebody else is wanting to use a hammock or play with the volleyball, you know, Enjoy your time, but then after a minute, give everyone else a chance to. Finally, we are on our way back. And it's not a far walk at all. And you pass some beaches, so if you want to take a small break, you can. Mm -hmm. take a nap. All right, we made it back. Now we are passing Bar Riva, and I can't believe it, but we will not be stopping there today. Not today. Um, we, we the we're here a lot, and we want to fully enjoy our pool time. However, Bar Riva has amazing snacks and pool drinks. So if you're hanging out by the pool, or even just want to get a good meal, that is a great, great option. Anytime you want to see us at Bar Riva, honestly just check out, nine times out of 10, check out a video where we're here at uh, the Riviera. You can see it in Quincy's room tour when she did the single bedroom. Just watch it, we love Bar Riva. All right, right. we have changed clothes yes. and now it's pool time. Time for a little pool time. Yeah. Very excited about this. Oh, I need this. This is the best part of a resort day, in my yes. opinion. Absolutely. Pool time. All right, so we just used our magic band. You can use your magic band or your card. Um, we are gonna hang out at the more quiet pool this evening. Now there is another pool over here at Riviera that has the big slide. It's really showy and it's pretty busy. So we're gonna hang out at this one. Relax a little and then guests get ready for dinner. And just as a little heads up, if you are a resort guest, you do not need to worry about bringing towels for the pool. They do have some back here, and this is where you'll return it. They do also have some really cool covered, like lounge love seat chairs, and there are like lawn chairs back over there. There's a lot of good options here. It's a very quiet, very relaxed pool, and it's totally a vibe. Here's your towel. Oh, this is so incredibly nice. This is what I needed. Yeah, this is the hands down, in my opinion, the best part of a resort day. It's always fun to get up and go, but when you've been to the parks for two or three days, it's really nice to relax too, and maybe have a few good meals in between. Yes, take advantage of the pool. This is perfect pool temperature. It is yeah. cold, the sun is on us, it's yeah. nice and warm. It's gonna be very hard to get out of this pool. Yeah, it feels incredible. If we weren't having such a great dinner, I, I would maybe consider staying here forever. Yes. But yeah. we have something to look forward to and you guys are gonna wanna see it too. Mm -hmm. All right, we had our time in the pool. We cooled off, the pool was great, amazing. Um, we found one of the 
What do you call this? David. A day bed. Is it a day bed? A love seat, if you will. Found one of these. So now we've gotten out of the pool. We're drying off. Emma is reading with her little Kindle. I love my Kindle. She does. She reads it a lot. So she's gonna read for a few minutes. I'm just gonna honestly become a lizard and lay in the sun. And then we'll change clothes and go get dinner. I am not joking when I say this is my new favorite spot in Disney World. I don't need to leave. All right, so we have left the pool. We have our dresses back on. And now it's time for a nice little early dinner that we think more people should know about. Now for our early dinner tonight, we are here at Topolino's Terrace for what we think is one of the best hidden secrets in Disney World because we don't have a reservation tonight, but we are definitely eating here. And that's because we're gonna be utilizing the bar actually. Quincy and I actually swung by here in her resort tour as well. Um, and then Fry and I together with our friend DFB Dustin have done breakfast and dinner in the exact same day where we kind of compare the two and see if Topolino's really is the best restaurant on property. If you want to know the answer, you can go check out that video up on the channel now. Uh, but one thing I will say is Topolino's is so popular. It is super hard to get reservations here. And the fact that we just waltzed up, grabbed a really beautiful table, we're getting full service, and there are tons of tables left is so impressive. That's why we think this is such a great opportunity. Definitely check out the lounge. If you really want to head to Topolino's and you can't grab that reservation, do not lose hope because they have a walk-up wait list as well as the lounge. Also, on that note about the bar and the lounge, they give you the full menu. You can order literally anything off the menu, drinks, food, desserts. So I love this lounge. I think it is a great um, addition, a great secret spot. In fact, we talked with a couple down at the pool who we had met before. They, I guess, are to see a lot. I've ran into them a couple times now and said, after this, we're gonna go to the bar. And they're like, oh, we always go at five. We get in every time. So you might have to come a little bit early, but you should be able to get in. All right, for our drinks tonight at Topolino's, I got the one here on the right. It's the Pomegranate Paradiso with vodka, lemon, pomegranate, and pineapple, so very sweet. And then over here on the left is what Fry got, and it's the Topolino Tramonto with vodka, limoncello, Aperol, lemon, agave, and a butterfly pea flower tea. So both very pretty, and I think perfect for kind of a, a very chill early dinner. First of all, like most Disney drinks, and like most drinks that Em and I both get, it is really sweet. It tastes mostly like lemonade because of that limoncello, but there's just a tiny, tiny bit of bitterness from the Aperol. Overall, really great drink, very beautiful drink, so if you care about pretty things and taking pictures and posting about them on Instagram like we all do, this is a very good drink for that. Um, it looks like a sunset, and it is not quite sunset yet here, but we were saying very much sunset vibes here right now. The vibes are great. We're having a great time. This is a nice dinner for a resort perfect day. Really light, very, very fruity. Um, heavy on that pineapple juice flavor. That is the main flavor here, but it's nice, it's light, and I think it's a very simple drink, especially for people who don't like the taste of liquor or alcohol. This is a good, safe choice. All right, and of course, to start our meal, we do have some bread, which is really nice handmade um, bread here at the restaurant, and some very nice olive oil. Ooh, listen to the crunch. Oh, well, I already crunched it. Oh, so sorry, I got excited. Aww. It makes me think of ratatouille. I mean, yeah, basically. You can tell how good the bread is based on the sound. Cheers! Ding! <laughs> Light, fluffy. I would say probably baked today. Not super warm, but really nice. Just nice, simple bread. And a really deep and rich olive oil that I enjoy. All right, so it is time for our entrees, and I am so excited about this one. I got the roasted cauliflower steak. It has farro, fava beans, arugula, radishes, green peppercorn dressing, and then, of course, a beautiful cauliflower steak right on top. It smells incredible. So I got the Branzino, which is a white flaky fish. It comes with fingerling potatoes, olives, scallions, and fine herbs, and it smells and looks delicious. I'm, I'm ready to dig in. You ready? Um, I was born ready for this moment. The farro is really, really nice texturally. It has a great little bounce back. Kind of reminds me of um, 
barley a little bit actually. It has a great nutty flavor that balances well with the cauliflower steak. The fava beans are actually not super apparent in this dish. There is like a slight acidic lemony flavor to the faro. It's super nice. It all balances really well. The arugula is fine. It's just a normal arugula salad with a nice little vinaigrette on it. I don't love arugula. It's um, a bit more bitter to me than other types of like leafy greens, but it's nice. It balances well. Okay, I am a really big fan of this Branzino. It's light, it's flaky the way you would want it to be. There's a little hint of lemon within the fish itself, but there's also a little bit of lemon in everything else in the dish, which was a really nice surprise, like these little potatoes that are around the plate. Um, have a little bit of lemon on it and overall it just all blends together really really nicely the potatoes are great overall I am very happy with this meal and for dessert our waitress actually told us that today is the first day that this new dessert is debuting and we are actually the first guest to try it ever <laughs> and the chef actually came out and explained it it's a really cool dessert it is inspired by Aurora so the dessert itself turns from blue to pink make it pink make it blue and this is actually a orange blossom honey mousse with strawberry curd on the inside. And the chef, her favorite princess was Aurora, so she created this with the help of her team. Oh, that is good. Okay, let's talk about it. That dessert is very light, fluffy, and airy. You can taste a little bit of citrus from the orange on the inside. It has like a natural sweetness to it, but it doesn't feel like you're eating just straight sugar, which happens a lot in Disney World, so that was very nice and refreshing. It's also very fun and immersive. It changes from blue to pink, which is awesome. So overall, that was a fantastic dessert. All right, I know we literally just had dessert, but it's a perfect day. It's a perfect day, and we're means at the Riviera. Who dessert? That means we're getting another dessert. Okay, and I'm very excited for this dessert. I've been waiting weeks for this. She okay? really, really, truly has. Weeks! I am so excited. This is gonna be my favorite part of the whole video. So most of the resorts do have campfires every night. Some resorts do just the marshmallows, but you can also buy s'mores kits. So we are gonna go get some s'mores. Mess. I need to go. She's making a huge mess. So we are gonna go to Le Petit Cafe, do some work, charge our phones, and then we will be back down for the movie in an hour. I will say the sky looks absolutely beautiful. The sunset is amazing. And I do love looking at the Skyliner on the sunset. I think it's really pretty. And also you can see the other screen over at Caribbean Beach Resort. You can see it across the water. Very pretty. But our movie, right here out on the lawn there are some chairs out not very many they are already full so we're just gonna pop a squat on the ground and check out the movie yeah. all right and we have stepped away from our movie for a second because it is nine o'clock and you know what that means it's time to watch Epcot fireworks from the resort. Now the fireworks look so beautiful over here. And I'm actually pretty excited. This is the first time we've watched them in this spot down here, kind of to the, the back corner right on the water uh, with a beautiful view of the Skyliner. But I will say, Nothing beats that Topolino view for me. Right up there on the very top of the Riviera, you can go out on, on Topolino's terrace, the literal terrace. Now, we did want to watch a little bit more of our movie before we had to leave, so we kind of left right at nine so we could get down here and watch it. Um, but if you have the extra time and you wanna go grab a nice dessert drink and have a great view, definitely head up to Topolino's. That was 
was so cute. Very cute. I do, I really loved where our room was, but it would have been even cooler if we could have seen it from our Ugh. balcony. That would have been incredible. If you have a balcony that is facing the entrance of Riviera, you're gonna have a great view. Yes, so watch the balcony. Yeah. Overall, I think we had a really good day. I think I would dare say it was the perfect day. Oh. I would. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch Quincy's full tour of the Riviera Resort. We'll see, see you there. there.